Hi guys, this is SAT with Jeff. In this video, I will explain the reading test paper and the writing and language test paper. Then I will discuss how to approach the punctuation questions in the writing and language test paper. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and let's reach a wider audience. There are two main test papers, the reading test and the writing and language test. There's also an optional paper, which is the essay test. The reading test contains 52 questions and the candidate is required to read five passages and attempt 52 questions in one hour, five minutes. For the writing and language test, the candidate is required to read four passages in 35 minutes to attempt 44 questions. For the essay, which is an optional paper, the candidate is required to read a passage and from the passage, extract information to write an essay based on the directions given. So let's go through the reading test paper. The candidates will be given five passages to read in this paper. The passages will be taken from, um, from history, from science, okay? This is the writing and language test paper. You read four passages and you attempt um, 44 questions. In this video, I'll focus on how to approach comprehension questions in writing and language test paper. Let me show you an example of the punctuation questions. Okay, here, look at question 12. While fare-free policies do increase ridership, but they have, now the underlined words here should be a focus. So the number here is 12, so you go to question 12. Now, if there is nothing wrong with this punctuation, you just tick no change. But if you think there's something wrong here, maybe you need to remove a word and punctuate co correctly, look for the best option here, that's the best punctuated option here, okay? Look at question 14 also, but car use, but car use in Tallinn has only slightly declined as a, now you come to question 14, if this, if this expression is correct, just take no change. But if you think something is wrong here, you just go through the options and pick the correct option. Before we start attempting some of these questions, I would like to go over punctuation max again. Okay, the first stop or the period is used to end a sentence. For example, my name is Alexander Hamilton. It can also be used for abbreviations like incorporation, limited. Full stop or period can also be used to, in, to show honorifics. Honorifics are titles that are abbreviated and placed before the name of a person. For example, title, Mrs., Doctor, Professor, Engineer, Honorable, Esquire. Full stop or period can also be used to indicate currencies, $2.50. Can also be used in email addresses. It's also used in website addresses, for example, www.sat.org. The question mark is used to ask direct or rhetorical questions. For example, what is your name? Who is like unto thee? This is a rhetorical question. The question mark also is used to show doubt. For example, James Smith, 1888 to 2020. Now, the question mark here indicates that you are not sure when James Smith was born, but you're sure he was born around that time, okay? But the exact year is not certain. Exclamation marks are used to show emotions like surprise, fear, shock. I don't believe this. This is surprise. Go, excitement. It can also be used to show commands like, Get out, stand up. Exclamation marks can also be used to indicate a loud sound. Boom, bang. The comma is used to pause in a sentence. For example, I came, I saw, I conquered. The comma can also be used to separate items in a list. I need some rice, beans, plantain, and meat. If you remove the commas here, everything here will be assumed to be one. The comma can also be used to add extra information. 
Robert Langdon, the renowned professor, will be visiting our school today. The comma can also be used in tag questions. For example, let's grab a glass, shall we? Apostrophe, this punctuation mark is used to indicate that one or more letters or numbers have been omitted from a word. For example, I can't, this is a contraction. It simply means I cannot, okay? Removing the letters does not change the meaning of the words, okay? In the 60s, it simply means in the 1960s, during the 1960s. The punctuation mark apostrophe can also be used to show possession that something belongs to you. It's Michael's book. Here it shows that the book belongs to Michael. Colon. The punctuation mark colon is used to introduce a quote or a list in a sentence. For example, you need the following subjects to study law at the university. Now, the colon here shows that you're about to list the following subjects. So you have literature, history, etc. The quote, he said, life's good. Semicolon. This punctuation mark is used to separate two parts of a sentence, independent clauses. I spoke to Linda on Monday. She can't come to the meeting tomorrow. The hyphen is used to form compound words. Compound words are two nouns brought together to form one word. For example, I need a part-time job. She's an African-American. The dash is longer than the hyphen and it is used to separate parts of a sentence. For example, the car, the one with the broken window was parked outside my house. Dash can also be used to show direction. For example, Lagos to Ibadan Expressway. The dash here means to, to show direction to. Lagos to Ibadan Expressway. Quotation marks. Quotation marks show exactly what someone said. For example, God said, let there be light. Parenthesis is used to provide extra information. For example, he wept not for his job, but for his son. The words in parenthesis here give extra information about why he wept, not for his job, okay? Perhaps he lost his job, but not for his job, but for his son. Parenthesis can also show words, phrases, and sentences that should be considered as separate from the main part. For example, students' first name are shown in parentheses like this, Baker Anita. What I'm trying to say here is that this is the first name, Anita, okay? And this is the surname. They're just trying to tell you that this is different from this. They are not one, okay? Anita is the first name, while uh, Baker is the last name. Okay, now let's go back to the SAT questions. But by initiating and collaborating on projects such as the Apollo Moon missions, the Space Shuttle Program, the Hubble Space Telescope, and Unmanned. Now, what I want you to do here is to check if there's any grammatical error, okay, or punctuation error. So you move to the corresponding question. If this expression is correct, you take no change. But if you think you need to punctuate, okay, then you pick the correct option here. So let's go the Hubble Space Telescope and... Okay, I think there is nothing wrong with this. So the op correct option here is no change, okay? okay? Let's look at question 16. If employees find themselves falling behind in the workplace, these critics contend if you think there's nothing wrong with this uh, punctuation, uh, with this expression, with the punctuation marks, you say no change. But if you think, just like I'm thinking, that there's something wrong with this, okay, you can pick the correct option here, okay? So I think the correct option here, if employees find themselves falling behind in the workplace, these critics contend, then... It is the duty, the correct option here is D, because these critics contend, then it is the duty of the, uh, so the correct option here, because you, there is a pause in the sentence. If employees find themselves falling behind in the workplace, first pause, these critics contend, then it is the duty of those employees to identify and even pay. Okay, I think the comma here will make the expression more, uh, will make the expression clearer. Okay, 
Um, let's look at question 22. What you are looking for here, I think, is the punctuation mark, the appropriate punctuation mark to use. Employees can also identify which employees have successfully completed instructional models and which needs to be offered additional training. Now, if you think there's nothing wrong with this, okay, you say no change. But I think you need to, uh, th 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 this needs to be a change here. Now, employees can also identify. Now, what follows is like a list of items, okay? what the employees identify. There is one punctuation mark that introduced a list in a sentence, and I think it's the colon. So the colon here will work perfectly, will make the uh, expression more clear. Let's take a look at question 24. To counter the rise of fast food and fast life, a cohort of chefs, journalists, and... Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, so... To counter the rise of fast food, they are looking at the punctuation marks here. If you think there's nothing wrong, just say no change, okay? But let's take a look at this again. These are least cohorts of chefs, journalists, and sociologists. So what should be used here should be still the column. What should be used should be the column to introduce these lists. Okay, this is another one, okay? So you search for grammatical errors and punctuation uh, errors. The nature trails let us through the forest like a snake curving and bending. Now here, what you're looking for is the appropriate punctuation marks. If you think there's nothing wrong, you take no change. But if you think there is something wrong, you know, you come down and say, okay, the nature trail slithers through the forest like a snake curving and okay i think snake curving and bending along like a snake curving and bending okay i think like a snake curving and bending along so this is the correct answer okay finally let's look at question 29 during their early years, the movement also focused on the, so your focus here is on their, okay? If you think there's nothing wrong here, you say no change, okay? But if you think there's something wrong here, you pick, okay, during its early years, the movement also, now if you're going to replace it with its, you are going to pick C because it's not a contraction, okay? It's not a contraction. This is a contraction to, to show that something is pertaining to you, to someone, you use the one without the punctuation mark, okay? So if you're going to use it's, it's early years, it's C, not D, okay? D is just a contraction for it is. You cannot say during it is early years, but you can say during it's early years. So this is how you attempt the questions. You go to the passage, you go to the question, then you go to the passage and look for the correspondent question and follow the instructions. Now, I want to advise you to keep practicing um, the, the SCT papers till you master how to punctuate correctly. Thank you very much.